Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix cracks in concrete floors, slabs, driveways, and patios. We're using Radon Seal's Crack Weld two-part repair material in this video. This is the box it comes in. This is the Pro Concrete Floor Repair Kit. This is the one we use. We fix a lot of cracks in concrete floors. What comes in this kit? Well, you get the dual cartridge caulking gun, two dual repair cartridges, silica sand, the nozzles, and the gloves come in this kit. This is the DIY kit. This is a single cartridge repair kit. So you get those two single cartridges, the silica sand, the nozzles, the gloves, the cups, but you'll need your own caulking gun for this. Again, this is the one we're using. We are uh, Specialize in repairing concrete cracks, so we use the Pro Kit. It just lasts a little bit longer for us. Some other tools you'll need. You'll need a vacuum to clean out the crack, a putty knife, quart measuring cup, again, your single tube caulking gun for the DIY kit, an electric hand grinder. That's what we use to grind the crack smooth after. You could use a palm sander or a rub and stone if you want. So here I am putting the cartridge together. So you, you break off the safety tip and you put on that backflow resistor and then you screw on the nozzle. Now if you guys don't know me, I'm Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. We specialize in concrete repair. We specialize in pouring and finishing concrete floors, slabs, pool decks, patios, all kinds of flat work. Stamp concrete, staining concrete. So if you like any of that kind of stuff, you know, go ahead and Subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out videos all the time about that kind of stuff. So once you get the nozzle, that nozzle mixes the part A and part B together. So you got to purge a little bit of that material out first so you get it mixed together. Now the first thing you're going to do after you get the, the crack all cleaned out and vacuumed is you're going to prime, we call this priming the crack. We want to wet it out. We want to get both sides of that crack wet. So when we put the silica sand in there, it really bonds together really well. You can see this is about an eighth inch of a wide crack. You could probably fit about a quarter down in there. Pretty common crack in a concrete floor. Just a shrinkage crack. We're going to wet that out. That nozzle, again, is mixing those parts A and part B together as it's, as it's going down through the nozzle and coming out the end. Now you're going to want to move along at a, at a fairly decent pace with this stuff. I mean, you'll have, you'll have 10 or 15 minutes to work with it. So if it's just you doing it yourself, then, then you're just going to want to keep busy. If it's two of you, then that's going to be a little bit easier. So again, you get the you get the crack primed out, and now we're going to go over it again, just just to add a little more material and stop putting the silica sand to it. And you're going to want to overfill it, just like we're doing here. Put plenty down there. You can put it in with your fingers like this, or you could dump it right out of the cup, one or the other. As you'll see in a minute, we're going to be making a paste out of this. And then we're going to force that sand down into the crack. Right now we just want to make sure there's some material down in there. So the sand can soak into a little bit. And then we'll use that putty knife just like that. And force a little bit of that sand down in there. Then we'll wet it out again. So we can make a kind of like a putty out of it. Yeah, you can see now we're just dumping it out of the cup. So we'll go along and we'll do the whole crack like this. This crack was probably, I don't know, seven or eight feet long. Not a very big one. If you're doing really long cracks, like say over 10 feet, I would just do sections at a time, like maybe about 10 feet at a time. Where this one's only seven or eight feet, we can, we can sand out the whole crack before we go back and stop making a putty out of it. You can see I'm wetting it out again. And then my other guys there are just adding the sand to it. 
you want to overfill it a little bit with a with a repair material this is a two-part polyurea repair material this stuff dries really really hard and rigid it's, it's actually considered a structural repair when it's done when it's all dry and done it's actually stronger than the concrete you're kind of you're kind of welding the crack back together again so you can see I'm forcing the sand down in there kind of making a putty with some extra material if you need a little more just squirt a little more down there you go now you can see that nice paste we're making push that down in there force it in there really good and you're gonna to want to leave it overfilled you're not going to want to try to scrape it perfect on this first run. I'll have a link down in the description, guys, for not only for the instructions on how to do this, you'll be able to go to my webpage and, and read all the instructions. I'll even have a downloadable PDF on that for the instructions. And then there'll be a link on my webpage where you can actually go buy this stuff if you want to try it. Again, this is from Radon Seal. They, they sell concrete repair materials, crack repair materials. They sell concrete sealer. You can see that putty I'm making. I'm just making a putty, a paste, forcing it down in there. And shortly here, we're going we're gonna to let this dry for about 15 or 20 minutes, and then we're going to grind it smooth. Now, if you don't have a like a 4-inch electric hand grinder, you could scrape this a little smoother in about 10, or, 10 minutes or so get most of the excess material off after it dries a little bit with a putty knife and then come back with a palm sander with 60 grit paper or a concrete rubbing stone and just sand it or stone it smooth we just like using a hand grinder it's just faster for us because we do a lot of them you can see I'm leaving that overfilled I'm leaving plenty of material there so here we are grinding it off there's our little hand grinder you can see it grinds off pretty easy once it grinds off, you can you can hardly see that crack there. The crack repair material is gray, so it blends in pretty good. If you get any excess on the floor, you can just lightly buzz over it. It'll come right off. As you can see, he's doing there, just cleaning up a little bit. These 4-inch hand grinders are pretty easy to use. You can use a DeWalt one. You could use a Bosch one. Get them at Home Depot. I'll have a link in the description for one if you want. But you, as you can see, he's just grinding that off. It doesn't take much effort, and it doesn't take much time to grind it. Material comes right off, and that's rock hard inside that crack right now. After about 20 minutes, that's rock hard. Now, if you do find a spot that's still a little tacky, or feels a little bit like it's just smudging, like that's gonna right up here at the end then you just give it a few more minutes before you grind it you can see that very end piece it's a little bit smudge in there so he's gonna give it a few minutes and then he'll grind it and he'll be done there just like that so that's it guys I mean this is what it looks like when it's done it, it almost disappears but that crack is welded back together and fully repaired thanks guys we'll see you on the next video